So first thing, we talked about holding a guitar pick. I'm gonna get a close up on the camera over here. We really wanna use our thumb and our first finger exclusively. And what's important about that is you want your thumb to go all the way across the pick and you don't want too much of the bottom of the pick showing. The pick should be a 90 degree angle from your thumb. So basically if my thumb is horizontal, the pick should be pointed straight down. And we want to put our first finger kind of wrapped around the back. And what you wanna do is keep these three fingers out we don't wanna tuck them in and make a fist. It's, it's a little bit, you have challenge sometimes, I'll notice students will have the bottoms of their fingers hit the strings when they're tucked in. Plus, we want these, these fingers over here as a reference point, as a data point. Meaning if I'm strumming, my pinky's gonna kinda of go across the bottom of the guitar here and it's gonna keep my pick at a, a certain height off the string, like you can see here. It kinda of gives me a point of how high is my pick off the string. So it's a dynamic thing we're looking at. When I'm playing individual notes or arpeggiating, I want to have my pinky kind of anchored in one spot. And again, if I'm sideways here, my hand's not touching the strings. I'm not doing any palm meeting like that. My hand's up like this. And that way I don't have it where I'm muting out the strings. Everything can ring. But what that does is that reference point gives me a data point so my brain can make the association that my pinky's always in the same spot here. The sixth string is always going to be the same distance from that point. Same for the fifth, the fourth, third, second, and first. So when I have to memorize a picking pattern, notice my eyes are on my left hand, not on my right hand, right? I'm not looking at my pick while I'm playing. And that's intentional. Our left hand is gonna have most of the heavy lifting to do. There's times where we're gonna have to go from the first fret up to the eighth fret or whatever. We're going this, a, a lot of distance here. So we want our right hand to not have to have our eyes on it. We can memorize where the strings are, and when we memorize the strings, we're memorizing them based on this reference point, okay? So all individual notes. You can also go between the two. So for example, if I hit a chord and I hit the individual notes, and I wanna strum, I just kinda move a little bit forward, drag my pinky, and then when I come back down, I kinda re-anchor it when it's time to hit individual notes. And you'll get real comfortable going between that. If you notice on my guitar, I'm gonna see if I can get an angle where you can see it. You can see how worn out my guitar is right here. And that's from that pinky just constantly being in this area. It's going to the same spot for arpeggiating and kind of moving around when I'm strumming. So that's an important thing to realize is keeping that hand anchored.